<laughs> Welcome to your Christmas project. It's a it's gonna be a stop. All right, my favorite week of the year is the Christmas project. Okay, let's go through your packet and see check to make sure you have the right pages in your packet. So the first page is basically your steps for the Christmas project. On the next page, you will have a gift pricing form. That's kind of going to be like your shopping list. The next page is says American Bank Transaction Register. Then the next several pages, you should have 12 checks. And the very last page is your grading rubric of what I'm looking for for the grade. All right. So the project is we're shopping for 10 people, going to find 10 items to pay for. You were given four coupons. Some of the coupons are store specific. Some of the coupons are like $10 off. When you spend a certain amount, some of the coupons are percentages off. All four have to be used. So if I have to buy 10 gifts, do I have a coupon for every gift? No, you don't. Okay, so six gifts will not have a coupon. If you have a store specific coupon, then you have to go look at that store and find something to buy there. All right, so you have a budget of $500 to buy the 10 gifts. And obviously, when we flip through our packet, what, how are we paying for these items? Okay. With checks, okay? So we need to learn how to write checks and keep um, a register of what is in our banking account. First thing we need to do is flip to the page that says American Bank Transaction Register. This is what you keep track of what's in your bank account. Well, ours is blank. So that tells me what about my bank account? You can speak. It has, there's nothing in it, okay? But I just told you, you ha are going to have how much in it? $500. $500. So everyone is going to write this on their bank transaction. You're going to write today's date, which is 12-14. Transaction description. What, what do you call that word when you put money into your bank? Deposit. We are depositing money, so we're going to write deposit. Okay, then two things can happen to your account, a debit or a credit. Well, there's a minus sign next to debit, so that means... What's happening whenever I use a debit? It's taking, it's taking money out. And I have a plus sign next to credit, so that means what's happening to my account? Money's going into my account. Well, if I am giving you all $500, is, my, is that going to be a debit or a credit? credit? Credit of $500. So we're all writing $500 under credit. So what is my new balance? $500. $500. Okay. Now you're going to put your pencil down. You're not going to write anymore for a while. Now I'm going to pretend to do the project so you know how it goes. So I'm making this up. Yours will be something else. So I'm going to go back to my gift pricing form, and I need to buy um, somebody something. Let's buy Hillbilly Gilly. 
a hill billy gilly hbg we need to buy him a billy goat so we're gonna buy a stuffed animal goat and I'm buying that at Target. I found it at Target. Okay. So, I happen to have in my coupon book, I have a 20% off one item at Target. So I'm going to use that on Hillbilly Gilly's uh, goat. So, I found this goat for, oof, that's, um, I found it for $24.99. Okay, <coughs> this is a problem I see with some of you doing this project. The price that they list on the website is $24.99. And I see some people go to cost of item and they write $25. Is that the cost of the item? No. The cost of the item is $24.99. $25 is not correct. That's a penny more. So you have to write the exact amount. Okay, so my cost of my item was $24.99. I'm using a coupon. So you may notice on the back of your coupons, you have to write some things. And I am using this coupon on Hillbilly Gilly, HBG. And how much was my original price of the goat? $24.99. I need to find the new price. So 20% off of that. But 20% can't go into a calculator. So I need to change that to a decimal. Anybody remember how to change a percent to a decimal? The decimal is understood to be in the back. I bounce forward twice. So that becomes 0.20. Or is it 0.2 the exact same? Same thing. It's the same thing. So I need... To see, I need to multiply my price, $24.99 times 20% as a decimal, and I get 4.998. Is that how much I'm paying for the goat? No. How, what is 4.998? That's how much you get off. That's how much I get to take off of the gift. Okay, well, we would really, how much, how many decimal places does money have? Two. Two decimal places. This has three. Typically, we would round it, but for some reason, stores don't do that. They just drop all the numbers behind it. So, what would this amount be? Four ninety nine is how much I get to take off. So, I might write this here. So I get to take off $4.99. I need to compute my, oh my goodness, what did I do? <laughs> Delete. Okay, so I need to compute $24.99. I get to take off $4.99. Oh, how perfect is that? So my new price, how much am I spending on the goat? $20. So, so I'm going to go back to my gift pricing form. I got to take off $4.99. Now I need to know <coughs> sales tax. For my project, I'm giving you a sales tax of 5%. I'm actually cutting you a deal. Does anybody know what Louisiana sales tax is? Is that like 10%? I think it's 11%. It is not 10%. It might be 10%. We have, when you go to the store, you're getting taxed twice. You're getting a state tax and a parish tax. 
And so it might add up to 10%. State tax in Louisiana is 9%. It's a little over 9%. It's 9 point something. Louisiana is one of the highest sales tax states, but we're one of the poorest states. Go figure that. Sounds like some people need to learn some math in the important positions. Anyways, for our project, I am only doing a 5% sales tax. Okay, so I'm cutting you a deal. And we're only doing a state tax, not parish tax. So 5% is my sales tax. Am I doing 5% of $24.99 or 5% of $20? 20. 20 because that's what I'm spending. So I need to get my calculator again. What would 5% as a decimal be? 0.5? 0.5 is 50%, 0 0.05. So I'm going to do $20 times 0 0.05. And my tax on this, I couldn't have picked a better number here, is just a dollar. So I'll fill in a dollar here. What's my final cost of this goat? $21. Where's my money sign go? In the front. Yeah, a lot of people put it in the back, and I don't know why you're doing that. Okay, how my sales tax was a dollar, and my total cost ended up being twenty-one dollars. Okay, I just filled out my shopping list. I haven't paid for it yet, and how am I paying for this? With a check. So I need to go to my check. And I'll go to my first check, 1001, and I need to write a check. It says, pay to the order of. Who am I writing the check to? Target. Target. Hillbilly Gilly or Target? Target. Target is where I'm spending the money at. So, Target, what goes in this box? $21. And I draw a line at the end of the box. Anybody have an idea of why I draw a line? Yes, sir. Taking money out of your bank. Nope, not why I draw the line. It's because I know I don't trust everybody in this world. And if I handed that check to somebody without a line drawn, they could easily add another zero, change that to a comma. How much have they now stolen from me? $21,000. $21, all because I didn't draw one simple line. How terrible would that be? Yeah. So I want to make sure to draw a line. Um, obviously the date, I would write the day I bought it. What goes in this line? The numbers in word form. So, 21 dollars. And then your cents you can put over in a, a fraction. So what, how many uh, pennies is in a dollar? A hundred, so I can write my cents as a fraction over a hundred, and I'm going to draw that line again. Um, what goes in this line? That's that. That's your signature. So I have an ugly signature. Um. If you don't know how to write in cursive, you can just write your name in print. Memo. Memo is just for your information. It's to remind you what you bought at Target, who you bought something for at Target, just for your information. So, I could write Hillbilly Gilly's Christmas. 
I could write a goat, because that's what I bought. Um, anything to remind me. So I'm going to write a goat. Now, I would hand that off to Target. Would I ever want to use pencil on a check? No. They could easily erase that. So you're not going to use pencil on your checks either because that's an automatic grade lower. Whoa. Whoa. Just Why by... <coughs> I have pens you can borrow. You can use pencil on any other parts of this except the checks have to be in ink. Okay? But I'm not done. I still show that my bank account has $500. Is that true anymore? No. no. I just wrote a check. My check number that I wrote was check 1001. It was written up here, my check number. And I wrote that check today. Transaction description. That's your store. Where did I buy, uh, spend that money? Target. Target. Is this going to be a debit or a credit? A debit because it's taking money away. How much money? $21. $21. I'm not crediting anything this time. So I need to find my new balance. So I've got 500 minus 21. And my new balance is 479 and now I bought one gift and I have to buy how many? Ten. Ten. Because we write checks in ink, sometimes we mess up. If a person was to come here and add a zero, they would not cash that because it looks like something was scratched out. You can't just scratch out stuff. They won't cash it. It looks like somebody tried to uh, commit some fraud. So if I mess up on a check, the proper way to cancel it is in huge letters, write the word void. Now everything has scratches on it, so it cannot be cashed. And I would not have a check 1001 used because I messed it up. I would use the next check. I gave you 12 checks, so you have two extra in case you mess up. So then I would go back to my gift pricing and find something else for someone to buy. And where I'd buy it, I'd go online and look and try and find um, an item. So you have four coupons that you will use. This coupon I had was a percent off. What if I had a coupon that said $5 off $50? Could I have used that coupon? No. no. What if I had a coupon that said $5 off $25? Could I have used that coupon? No. No. That one would have stunk. Um, what if I had a coupon that said $5 off $20 or more? Okay, how would I use the coupon? Do I find a percentage? No, you just take $5 off. All right, any questions about how the project works? Yes? Is there a goal to like get rid of all $500? Oh, good question. Can I be in the negative in the bank? Yes. It's possible, but... They start taking your house, taking your car, taking your paychecks. It, it's not a good thing. So for the project, you get an automatic F if you go over your $500 for your 10. So you need to budget nicely. Um, so that makes it about how much per person to spend? $50. About $50, but you can't forget about tax. And you, but you also have four coupons to use, too. Um, yes, sir? Do you have to, like, find real items? Yes, we're going to spend the next four days 
go on, uh, on the computers searching um, store websites. We'll go to Walmart, Target, Academy, any kind of website to find items. Yes, but you have to use that total that they give you for the two for one. Adam. Uh, so like, say I can buy somebody like a four hundred fifty dollar gift, and I just give like the rest of the other people suckers. <laughs> no. It has to be four different, I, I mean, uh, ten different items purchased. So f ten different amounts are going to be purchased. Ten checks have to be written. Um, you can write, you can buy things for your pets. You can buy all for your friends. You would, of course, want to uh, include Miss Adams. Uh I think the fellow now is a senior. I had a senior one time while he w was in eighth grade and no seventh grade. And he did this project and he bought me a present. He was so sweet on this uh, project and he found me a yodeling pickle. And that's where my yodeling pickle came from is because when teacher appreciation week came back around, he actually went back to that site that he found the yodeling pickle at and purchased me the yodeling pickle for teacher appreciation. Mm -hmm. So now I have a yodeling pickle. I'm <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so that is the project. Let me close out my video. Hillbilly Gilly says, peace out, llamas. Later.